Mother? Mother? Are you okay? No. Oh, Mother, you're bleeding. Oh. oh, it's a little scratch. It's nothing. Oh, honey, I know you're busy. You don't have to take me. Mother, you're not going alone. Where's Gina? Gina called with surprise, an urgent problem at work, so she's gonna meet us there. She works very hard, just like her father did. Your father and I used to plant rose bushes here every, every year, year on, on your wedding, wedding, wedding anniversary. <laughs> Come on, let's go see it. Happy anniversary, my love. <sighs> Today is our 50th, our golden anniversary. Yeah, I know. I don't think Gina's gonna make it, Mom. them to do it, you tell them to do it. No, and don't call me back until it's done. Didn't I tell you I was gonna meet you at the cemetery? We waited there for an hour. You know how hard it is for me to get away. Once a year for an hour? <sighs> what? No, tell them tax liens and judgments are not part of the purchase price. Anything else other than the trouble sleeping? Well, I see worse, I ache more, and I eat less. It's called getting old. Other than that, I'm just fine. Ruth, you've been in remission for four years. It's important that we run tests to make sure that it hasn't come back. I'm not interested. Ruth, you know if we catch it early enough, we can treat it. I don't want to become anyone's burden. I don't want to be kept alive by drugs, or wheeled about, or, or bedridden. No, not for me. No, I'm sorry to hear you feel that way. So am I. At least let me give you a prescription so you can sleep.
I did not. I've only had Save some room now. Two. I think so. 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 I think The doctor said she was going to be all right. Looks like it was an attempted robbery. We have the suspect in custody. Well, you better make sure this one rots in jail. I'm afraid we can't do that. Can't do what? A 70-year-old woman was attacked. She doesn't want to press charges. She refuses to sign a complaint. Now, unfortunately, without charges, our hands are tied. She's pressing charges. Why aren't you pressing charges? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You were attacked, Mother. I know what happened. Paul, help me get out of here, please. But mother, what if next time this crazy lady kills somebody? Do you want that on your conscience? It's so good to see you. Do your job. Just remember the Red River Valley and the cowboy who loves you so true. Excuse me. What kind of song can I sing for you? Hmm? Blues? Jazz? Gospel? No, thank you, but I, I'm actually looking for a, a homeless street lady person that you might know. I know a lot of ladies on the street. Well, um, she's about... 35, and she wears her hair and braids. I believe you're talking about Billy. Oh, I will. Where might I find this Billy? The fella that knows the most about Billy is Milkbone. Milkbone? Yes, ma'am. And where might I find Milkbone? No. Oh. Right down here, he's having lunch in the dog park. Oh, 
Oh, thank you so much for that information. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, really got locked up last night. You hungry? No, no, thank you. Got more central nutrients than a cheeseburger. Plus, they keep you regular. Do you know where I could find Billy? Were you listening? I said she's in the clink. They were supposed to let her go. You ask me, there's no way she attacked nobody. Not Billy. Mm-mm. Maybe you just don't remember. I'd know if I signed something. I didn't sign anything. Your daughter gave me this form after you left. My daughter? Billy, charges were dropped. You're free to go. Excuse me, ma'am. You looking for something, a book or something? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, we have magazines and videos and all that sort of stuff. Anything we can help you with? Well, I'm, I'm looking for a young lady with black hair, and she wears it in, in braids. Uh, she might be a homeless person. Oh, I think you mean Billy. You know her? She practically lives here. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. There she is. You know, she uses nearly all the paper from my recycle box. W would you like for me to introduce you? No, no, no. I've already met her. Thank you. Oh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Are you following me? It's not enough you got me arrested last night? Oh, I'm so sorry. That was a mistake. You're darn right it was. What do you want now? Well, I, just, I just want to thank you. You saved my life. Is that really what you wanted? Well, you can thank me by leaving me alone.
My name is Ruth. And I thought you'd like some new paper. You don't owe me anything. Oh, no, please. It's a gift. I don't use new paper. It's all used. Thanks. Would you like to have dinner? I don't eat dinner. Oh? Well, when do you eat? When I'm hungry. Oh. What am I going to do, man? <laughs> Max! How's the Chinese today? It's like a little spicy. Okay, there's Chinese here, Indian there, Mexican over there. I'm having Chinese. I have money. We could eat inside. Oh, no, there's plenty for me to eat right here. There's other stuff there is good. Yeah? You want some orange stuff? Go ahead. It hasn't killed anybody. Yet. Billy! Billy! They gotta come quick. Her role's looking real bad. What? Where? Where's she? We gotta go. Come on, she's right around the corner. Let's go. Rosie? What's going on? Oh, God. Okay, we need uh, flu medicine, juice, ice. Well, how much coin you guys got? She's burning up. You gotta get her to a hospital. They'll just send her home with ice packs and flu medicine. No, she needs medical attention. That she can't pay for. Well, I have money. This is your problem, okay, lady? Here's like $11. Why won't you let me help? I don't need your pity. This is not for you. It's for her. Billy, what happened this time? I don't know. She was fine yesterday. Rose? Rose, can you hear me? Get some ice packs and put her in the holding area. But she okay. needs a doctor. Are you family? No, I'm not, but I... You know, I can't admit her without insurance. The last time, it almost cost me my job. You need to take it to county. Will American Express do? She hasn't been sleeping at the shelter, has she? She has to be around her roses in the shelters all the way downtown. Her body's too weak to take the cold nights. <sighs> a couple more hours this time, she wouldn't have made it. Her temperature's down to 101. I'll be taking her upstairs for the night. You can visit with her tomorrow. Thanks. You hungry? Come on. You don't look this big from the alley. You can put your things down any place, dear. Where is everybody? Oh, it's just me. All this is just you? Unfortunately, yes. We were married 47 years. These your kids? Mm-hmm. They're much older now. Are you sick? I saw the empty pill bottle the other night. Lots of people who are sick try to kill themselves. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I don't have much of... Anything. I'm okay as long as it's not milk bones. <laughs> oh, Martin and I used to have pizza delivered from this great restaurant. Why don't I make a call and place an order? It'll take a while for the food to be delivered, so take your time. And 
please feel free to use anything that's here. Okay. Where are my clothes? Oh, I, I put a pile on the counter for you. Where are my clothes? Well, they were full of holes and dirt. They're my holes, my dirt. Where are they? Uh, Where are they? I just thought that you might like some. I can think for myself. What did you think, huh? What did you think you would do? That you give the homeless lady some new clothes and a good meal? That should put her right back on her feet. That's not it. No? What's it like? I don't know. I've never done this before. I have. You know what? It is always like that. So do me a favor. Go back to your life. Good morning. I brought you some coffee and donuts. What are you writing? Thoughts, ideas, things I have to get down. Mm -hmm. But why on recycled paper? It has history. Somebody threw this away, I get to bring it back to life. You're not leaving, are you? I don't have a life. I go to bed every evening and pray that the silence will end and that I won't wake up alone. We all have problems. What are you running from? You. Oh. oh, honey, you're young and you're smart. You don't belong on the street. What do you know about living on the street? Nothing. That's right, nothing. You don't know anything about my life. No, I don't, but I know about not living. I know about not living because you don't think you have anything to offer, or not living because you're, you're afraid to change. I'm not the one who tried to kill herself. <laughs> Tell me, what happened? Were you looking for some defining moment that put me on the street? Like I woke up one day and said, hey, living on the street looks like fun. It doesn't work that way. Well, how does it work? Why do you care? Why did you care to save my life? You called me Mama. What happened? Tell me about your mother. What do you want to hear? That I have nightmares of my mother dying of an overdose and I didn't get the chance to save her. That I've been in and out of more foster homes than I can even remember. That my husband was talking to me on his cell phone, asking me if I wanted 2% of skim milk when they shot him. I could hear him giving them the money, but they shot him anyhow. And for what? 20 bucks. And then after he died, all everybody else wanted was that same paper. Money for this bill, money for that. And we took everything. And all I wanted was my Robert back. Is that what you want to hear? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I didn't mean to do that. I know. Shouldn't we go check on Rose? You're a crazy lady. <laughs>
Billy, Billy, don't let him take me. Tell, tell them I don't want to go. Take you where, honey? <laughs> What's going on? This is Miss Thomas from the Department of Social Services. No, you're the one who's crazy. Rose does not belong in a mental hospital. It's a temporary solution until we find a full-time opening elsewhere. She'll die if she doesn't stay out of the cold. I can take care of her. How? She needs a roof, complete meals. You're in no position to provide these facilities for yourself, let alone her. I believe you'd find my facilities quite adequate. I'm sorry, who are you? A friend. Billy and Rose can come and live with me. And where might that be? Well, why don't you come by and take a look? What would you like to see first? The kitchen, the library, or one of the seven bedrooms? I don't believe that will be necessary. May I be frank, Mrs. Galloway? Sure. I'm not sure you understand the special care it takes to handle someone programmed to survive on the streets. Well, I'd like to think that my care would exceed anything that your organization could offer. How long do you think you're going to want to have a homeless woman living in your house? Well, if she's living in my house, she wouldn't be homeless, would she? Hmm. Here's a lovely room. Oh, Lily. See all the flowers? <laughs> Hydrangeas. You can put your things down. No, it's it's okay, Rose. This is your room, your bed, your closet. Rosie, Rosie, you can put your stuff down. Nobody's gonna take it. Promise. Would you like to come see my rose garden? Oh, you have a rose garden. Uh huh. Oh. Yes, that's right. Oh, do you have any Let me show you, honey. Oh, it's got the most beautiful roses I've ever seen. No, no, the policeman told me that not to touch anybody's roses. Oh, no, it's okay, because this isn't a park. This is my yard, and, and these roses are yours to take care of. All of them? All of them. <laughs> oh, This was my daughter's room. I'm sorry. Oh, please, don't be. I think it's perfect for you. I can't stay in here. I told them that we would take care of Rose. I can't do it alone. I can't replace your daughter. I don't want you to. Why are you helping us? I'm not. You're helping me. Come here. I want to show you something. I thought this would be a nice place for you to write. These are all recycled. And we're open 24 hours. Thank you, dear. 
It's time to go inside. You can come out again tomorrow. Here you go. There. Okay. It's all right, honey. Hey, hey, you two. What do you think you're just a second, you two? Stop that. You, what are you doing there? Get out of there right now. What do you think you're doing? Okay, it's okay. Get your finger out of my hey, face and we're not stop here. waving that thing at me. Oh, listen, I'll wave it. I want I'll to. I'll wrap it around your neck. How about that? Call the police, Lois. It's okay, Gil. Just put down the club. You know these people? Yes, and I'm sorry about your stuff. I'll make sure they put it all back. I don't understand. This is Rose and this is Billy, and they live with me. In your house? Yes. All right. I don't know what's going on over there, Ruthie. But you keep these animals away from my house. That's some good stuff. <laughs> it's all right. Let's go to the store and get our own good stuff. Can I get chocolate? Oh, yeah, you like milk chocolate or dark? Oh, we'll get both. Bums, I'm sure you just misunderstood things. Yes, I understand. Sure, I'll talk to her. Thank you for your call, Mr. Greenberg. Okay, well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Is there any change? Dallas? Is that you, Rosie? <laughs> and Billy? Where have you been? Oh, I'm staying at my new friend Ruth's house. It's a lot of food. Um, can Dallas come eat with us? I, 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 oh, sure she can. Good, good. And I can show you all my roses. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, there's Milk Bowl. Milk Bowl! Rosie, how you feeling? Oh, I'm so good. Billy, what are you doing still in the car? Oh, this is my friend Ruth's car. Oh, oh Ruth. <laughs> Man, this is one sweet ride. <laughs> This is a Mercedes Benz 260. Oh, yes, a milk boat. This is a piece, Rose. Oh, listen, I'm sorry space. about Rose inviting everybody over. She honestly doesn't realize what she's doing sometimes. That's all right. I don't mind. Tell me about Milk Bone. I mean, what's his story? The same as the most. He found himself in a bad way and took the fall. The fall? Once you lose everything, it's a long climb out. Is that because he couldn't get a job? Even if you do get a job, it pays what? Six dollars an hour? And at six dollars an hour, you're just a paycheck away from being back on the street. Is that what happened to you? First two times. And each time, the climb is higher, so the fall is harder. And then, you just become hooked. Drugs? Freedom. There's a freedom living on the street that you just don't get anyplace else. You eat when you want, you sleep when you want. You have time to enjoy the simple things that don't cost anything, like a good book, a sunny day, just taking a real deep breath. And really feeling it, you know? And the longer you're hooked, the harder the climb. You said two times. 
What about the third? I don't know yet. Oh, I hope it's good. I made it myself. <laughs> this is the best Haitian lasagna I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Who's ready for dessert? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. What the heck is this? Well, what a surprise. What's going on? Everybody, this is my daughter, Gina. Hey, Gina. You can sit right here next to me. Mother, who are these people? Well, the kind gentleman offering you a seat is Milk Pone. This is Max and Rose, Dallas, Toons, and Billy. Well, I was about to get dessert for everyone. Would you like some? What in the heck is going on in there? I'm having dinner with friends. Friends? Mm -hmm. Mother, what has gotten into you? Life. And you should try it sometime. I have a life. You have a job. When was the last time you went out on a date? Maybe I should have you set me up with milk duds. Milk bone. And you're not his type. Gosh darn it, because I really like the way he smells. This is not about you. It's about me, my life. I've been miserable just like you, going through the motions, numb to everything around me. When was the last time you did something for someone other than yourself? Oh, look, big surprise. One of your new friends is stealing your silverware. Well, I'll make sure he puts it back. Oh, sure, and next it's the TV, then the car. Have you forgotten that one of them nearly killed you the other night? I wasn't attacked. The other night, I swallowed a bottle of pills. But the police arrested. You know, an innocent person who actually saved my life. Excuse me, my friends are waiting. lost her marbles. We have to talk. Uh. I'll wake them up. No, no, shh. Just help me get some blankets. I used to work in a hotel, Toons. Yeah, I know. Now, neither one of you had a real meal well, since you missed all the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me, let me do I know exactly what we're Good doing. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's all the ruckus? We made breakfast for you. Yes, ma'am. Well, how nice. Did you hear ma'am? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. A little something to show our appreciation for letting us crash here last night. Yeah. Hey, uh, can I get you a cup of coffee? Uh, I'd prefer tea. Tea, yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're going to spoil me. Come <laughs> 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 on, you guys. Back. Get your back in. Get your back in. Get your back in. Has Gina decided to have me committed? I'm sure she's made a few phone calls. Mmm, <laughs> good. Why didn't you call me or talk to me? Because I didn't want you to feel the way you're feeling right now. Well, how do you think I would have felt at your funeral? It's not your fault. I was in the hospital for a week after Dad kicked me out. What happened? I felt so alone that I checked myself in so that I didn't do anything stupid. Oh, my gosh, honey. I think you look great. I mean, for somebody who just tried to kill herself. Do you think I'm crazy for doing what I'm doing? I think that you are one of the most amazing women in the world. And I want you to do whatever it is that makes you happy.
What are we looking at? Empty rooms. Heated, furnished, and empty for as long as I can remember. There's one there, and there, and there. I mean, do you think you know some of the others who still have one more climb left in them? You can't do that. I have the money, the time. You give me one good reason why these rooms should sit empty. Because it's not that easy. Some of us have serious problems, serious mental problems. You can't help everybody. But I can try. What have I got to lose? You're out of your mind. You know that. I like being out of my mind. No, I'm serious. You're crazy. And trust me, I've known some crazy people. Do you know any who need a room? Mrs. Galloway. I'm going to be blunt. You are a nice lady, but you don't know the first thing about taking in the homeless. Hey, brother! <laughs> I asked you to meet me here so you could see how most homeless shelters operate. It's not Beverly Hills, but it does the job. Well, Miss Thomas, I know you don't approve of what I'm trying to do. Oh, that's not true. I admire your spirit, Mrs. Galloway. I just question your stamina. There are over 90,000 men, women, and children on the streets of Los Angeles on any given night. It's almost more than the population of Santa Barbara. Most of the volunteers who come to work with us get overwhelmed by the sheer hopelessness of the problem and give up. 90,000? I mean, that's a shocking number. How many can you accommodate here? Well, this place alone has 110 beds. In spite of the leaky roof and the broken air conditioner, we shelter people as best we can. There's over a 30-day waiting list. Each night, we turn dozens away. I'm going to make you a deal. I need some guidance, and I want your expertise. I want you to teach me how I can help the people living in my house. This will cover the roof and the AC. You do indeed have spirit. All right, Mrs. Galloway. Ruth. All right, Ruth. First and foremost, you need a list of rules or guidelines. If you lose structure, you lose everything. Okay, you guys, don't lose much noise. Okay, we're almost home. <laughs> I think they had a good time. <laughs> Hey, neighbor! <laughs> Ooh, you're popping a wheelie. <laughs> Ruthie, what are all of those people doing here? These are my friends. You should come and have dinner with us some night. This is a nice neighborhood. Yes, I like it. I'm not living next to these people. When you plan on selling, let me know, because I might need more rooms. Ciao. Max, that's not yours. Put it back. Uh, milk bar? Uh-huh. Oh, there's a bedroom for you upstairs. Mm -hmm, I'm good right here. No, everybody has to have a bedroom. Oh, no. Come on, pick up your things. OK. Come on. Head up the stairs. There's no smoking, no drinking, no drugs, no fighting, and no stealing in the house. If you can't remember the rules, they'll be posted by the front door. If you cannot live by the rules, you better leave right now. If you make a mess, clean it up. If you see somebody else making a mess, make sure they clean it up. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner will be served every day in the dining room. Oh, and if anybody knows how to cook, please, I sure could use the help. I cook. Great! There'll also be house chores posted every week, and anyone who does their house chores will get $40 a week allowance. Uh, I can fix your car, your motorcycle, your lawnmower, your speedboat, whatever you got, I can fix it. I worked at Walmart. Can, can well, I get paid for the roses? One summer, I tarred I can, roads, I and then we got a job. And I, 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 can I can do, do all roads. And I also worked at a gas station. That means that I can do windows, and I can hold up tie. And this chicken is fried. And this spaghetti's ready. <laughs> She's a poet and she didn't even know it. <laughs>
Duramax, you okay? Oh, boy. Look at this. Cool. Look at all the stuff. Here. Let's what go. Got? All right. What we got? There. One more. One more. I'll take a few things. One little one. There you go. Good. Give me another one. All right. Give it to me, baby. Yes. All right. Here you got it. Guys, get the big box. We got the big box. Who are all these things? You get it? Yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, that mess. Okay. Aren't you a little old to be going out with these girls? Those are my sisters, Spaz. Hi. I'm gonna do some brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> What about the rules? Let me talk to her. Oh, it's all right. Everybody go back to sleep. Go on. Oh, honey. I'm sorry about that down there. But my, my husband kicked my son out of this house and it almost pushed Paul over the edge. So I need to give Dallas a chance. That's it? You're just gonna run away? We're supposed to be in this together. Dallas doing drugs has nothing to do with your husband or your son. You have to stop living in the past. You're right. Well, then you shouldn't have stopped me. How are people supposed to follow rules if you don't enforce them? I need you. I can't do this without you. Please. All right. Gina, I have Todd Preston on line three. Todd? I'm fine. Uh, today? Uh, yeah, let me see. Sure. One o'clock? Okay, I'll, I'll see you there. Bye. Cancel my lunch appointment. Hi, I'm meeting Todd Preston. Right this way. You know, that's why you're on it, okay? Yeah, so... Hey, I gotta call you back. Here you go. How are you? Oh, sorry I'm late. Nope. Actually, I'm early. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. It's a short notice. You, you look great. Oh, thank you. You're looking pretty great yourself. How's Mandy? Oh, not too good. <laughs> we split up about two months ago. Really? Uh, look. I hope I didn't send the wrong message because this this lunch is strictly business. What are you suing me? No, not you. Your mother. My mother. That's why I wanted to meet with you first, out of respect. You're suing my mother. Well, I'm hoping that it doesn't have to come down to that. Here, read. Using a residential property as a non-permitted boarding house. Noise violations, covenant violations? Listen, Mr. Greenberg and the neighbors that have joined in this action are not in this for the money. Gil Greenberg is the condo conversion king of South Wilshire. My firm is building for over a million dollars last year alone. Now, Mr. Greenberg and his friends just want their neighborhood back. So all your mother has to do is comply with the regulations. The whole thing goes away. Are we ready to order? I've lost my appetite. Come on, stay for lunch. Thank you for reminding me why I left you. You have until Monday. Must be heavy. Uh, yes, ma'am, it is. What's your name? Oh, Jamal, ma'am. Oh, Jamal? Oh. Okay. All right, we're going to do this real slow, all right? All right. Okay. Put it in the back of the garage, Jamal, okay? okay? All right. Great. What is happening? What is this? I need more storage space for food. No, you don't. 
Put it back in the truck. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay, Jamal. No. Just keep going. Put it back in there. This is all going to stop right now. Well, someone make up their mind. That's my shirt. You gave her my clothes. Would you get off of my property? No, I am not leaving. They are. You and, and you two and you three back there. There's no fighting in the house. Shut up. It's one of the rules. It says so right here. No more rules. It's time for everyone to get out. OK, everybody, get your crap and go back to the alleys and dumpsters from whence you came. Don't you ever come to my house and talk to my friends like that. Well, your so-called friends better get out of the house by Monday, or you'll have a class action lawsuit from 20 of your neighbors. Nobody can tell me who can or cannot live in my house. They can if you're breaking the law, and this will cost a fortune to defend. I don't give a d about the money. Of course not. You never had to work a day in your life. Oh. Oh. What do you think? You're going to change the world? It's changed mine. Thank you very much. Is it always this crowded? Mm -hmm. If it's free, it's crowded, especially legal advice. Hey, how you doing? Good to meet you. Appreciate it, sir. What sort of problem may I help you with? Do you know the law firm of Preston, Grossman, and Cecil? I've heard of them, of course, but I've never worked with them. Good. It's a very compelling case. But I must be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I would like you to represent me. For payment, of course. <laughs> I'm flattered, Mr. Galloway, but obviously you have the money to hire far more experienced lawyers. Call me Ruth. How many years have you been volunteering with the homeless? Almost six. That's the experience I'm looking for. anything. I don't need any help. Yes, you do. Get out of my way. No. We can help you. How are you going to help me, Ruth? You saw me. I can't live without it. Yes, you can. I do. Bone does. Max and Tunes do. No, I tried. You don't know how much it hurts. We can help make the hurt go away. You don't know anything, old lady. This is not my house. You guys are not my family. I don't belong here. I don't need you people. This is not my house. We can't send her back out on the street. What are you looking at? I don't need you people. <laughs> what are you doing, Dallas? Nothing. Not doing anything. Dallas, the choice is yours. Either they lock you up for a couple of years or you let us drive you to the rehab center. What'll it be? She chose rehab. 
But it won't be enough to keep her clean. Well, I'll keep her room ready for when she gets out. What she'll really need is to regain her sense of self-worth and responsibility. Ultimately, the key is finding and keeping a job. Thank you. Tell me, Milkbone, what kind of work do you enjoy? Well, if it runs on gas, I can fix it. I sing. I cook. I sing. I mostly like picking things up. So that's it? That's everybody? Almost. Take a seat. Mm, no, you don't, you don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. Take a seat. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm over 30 years old. Well, you have your whole life ahead of you. I always wanted to be a teacher and write books. Well, then you have to go to school and get your credentials. At my age? Why not? And I want to read that book when you're finished. But you have a help wanted sign in the window. Listen, I I'd like to help, but uh, he hasn't worked in seven years. Well, that's why he needs a job. I really can't afford to put on any new employees. I I'm sorry. Sorry. It's all right. We'll get another one. Come on. Is this your last name? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. okay. And where's your birth date on there? Do you know what today is? Yeah, it's, it's Wednesday, I think. such good people. You know, they want to work. I just wish I could find someone that will give them a chance. Well, it's a business, Mom. If they want to work, make the employers an offer they can't refuse. What's this? His first month's salary. If he doesn't work out, just fire him. It won't cost you anything. You're going to pay for him to work here. I'm going to pay for him to get a chance. OK, let's go. You got a job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Hartfield's client is running a boarding house out of a residential property. And my clients are seeking immediate injunctive relief. Your Honor, my client simply has friends staying at her home. Mrs. Galloway is boarding almost a dozen homeless under one roof. Now, Beverly Hills Covenants 2.18 and 4.7 clearly state that not more than three non-title holding individuals over the age of 18 and not related to the owner can live in one residence. Now, my clients want an immediate injunction on the house and a permanent restraining order keeping the occupants at least 200 yards from the residence. My client hasn't broken any laws, and a restraining order is such as highly irregular, if not illegal. Well, this case is highly irregular, Mr. Hartfield. My client is aware of this and requests a trial. Then, unfortunately, I'll see you both in court.
Yeah, what is it? I just got a call from American Express wanting to verify one of your mother's recent purchases. Hey, I didn't spend it. I've got a brainwash. 33,000 to the rehab center? $20,000 to UCLA Medical Center? There's $215,000 on our American Express this month. I should get power of attorney over the trust. Legally, can you change the trust without her signature? No. <sighs> She's gonna lose everything. Oh. Hot and spicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ruth told me you might be in here. I have a lot of work to finish. I hear you're studying to become a teacher. I'm taking classes. My sister's a teacher at LA Unified. I'm sure she'd let you sit in on a class if you'd like. Well, thank you. That, that would be nice. Hey, I was wondering if you'd be interested in having dinner with me on Friday night. That is, if you're not too busy. Um, <laughs> thank you, but I have so much work to finish. I'll have you home by 10, I promise. Okay. Yeah? I'd love to. Great. I'll see you around 7. Mm-hmm. Luckily, Mrs. Wordling canceled, so I had time to do this. Color is so beautiful. There you go. I can't believe you colored my hair. I know. Looks really pretty, though. Okay, just a little powder. I never knew what that was for. What's that for? Keeps you from being shiny, looking sweaty. Oh. Okay. This is the final touch. Ah. Oh. Oh, Larry, didn't she look beautiful? Absolutely. Easy on the eyes. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Hey, Shadow, look at him. Oh, Kelly. Oh. <laughs> Thank oh, you. There you go. <gasps> the words aren't enough. Go on, get out of here. Uh, have a nice time, Billy. Night, Larry. <laughs> well, watch yourself, Larry. Well, thanks for a wonderful dinner. That was great. So, what's the verdict? I'm glad you asked me out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Larry. How are you? Todd Preston, Billy Anderson. Hey, Billy. Hello. How are you? Have you uh, had a chance to talk any sense into Mrs. Galloway? I mean, uh, I hate to see her lose everything over some vagrants. What's he talking about? Ooh, sorry. Shouldn't be talking business. <laughs> Oof. Uh, tell you what. Get her to change her mind? Give me a call. You told me this case was no big deal. Can she really lose everything? She's my client. I can't discuss personal information. Can she? Well, what kind of lawyer are you letting her do something like this? Billy. Oh, 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 Billy? How was everything? It was really nice. I want to thank you for everything. Oh. You're gonna make it this time? I have to get up early to write. You look great tonight.
wake up. What is that? Get your things, we're leaving. Leave it, we just got here. Just hurry up and be quiet. <sighs> Tell us, okay? We okay, all right? What's going hey. on? Hey, you're not supposed to be driving. How could you leave me like that? I know you can lose your house, your car, your money. You can lose everything. Besides my family, everything that I care anything about is right here. That house back there is not mine. It's ours, and I'm not going home without you. Oh, Rose. What would happen to my roses? Oh, I was worried about that. <laughs> it's breakfast time. Let's go home, OK? Come on, everybody. I'll cook. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Get it together. Let's all go home and have breakfast. Come on, let's go home. Let's go home. Come on. Straight. Come on. I worked my entire life to buy that house, and I shouldn't have to have my trash picked through or, or have strangers running through the neighborhood. No further questions. How long did you live next to Mrs. Galloway? 14 years. And in that 14 years, how often did your grandchildren come to visit? Well, the whole family visits every year over the holidays. Oh, you have a large family, don't you? Three daughters, one son, 12 grandkids, correct? Yes. And when they come to visit, do they all stay at your house? Yes, they're my family. How long do they stay? They stay for about two weeks. So you have eight adults, 12 grandkids, you and your wife, that's two. You have 20 people stay at your house. It's a large house. Any larger than Mrs. Galloway's? About the same. No, actually, Mrs. Galloway has two more bedrooms. Now, you have 20 people stay at your house, but you're suing Mrs. Galloway for having six. They're my family, legally, and that's the difference. No further questions. So, tell the court what happened when you tried to sell your house. Well, um, the buyers walked out the front to look in the garden, and that guy there with all that hair was urinating in my bushes. They're making this up. Just like that, right out there in the open. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, then what happened? The buyers left, of course. Your witness. We're losing, aren't we? Well, we're not winning. I could probably still cut a deal. No deal. I want a chance to tell my side. You know, Ruth, your daughter's law firm could probably have... You are my attorney, and that's it. Ruth, there's someone here to see you. Is something wrong? Well, you paid me for a month, and uh, the time is up. Well, thank you so much for giving Milkbone a chance. No. Thank you. What's this? It's your money. That young man can fix darn near anything. As a matter of fact, I'd like to put him on full time in my shop. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, please join us for tea and cake. Well, thank you, ma'am. I think I will. Good. What are you doing here? Your mother needs your help. So she sent you? No, I came on my own. Well, if you really want to help my mother, you'll get your things and get out of her house. Would that help her or you? How would someone like you know what's best for her? You mean because I live on the street? 
or because I didn't grow up with a mother who cared enough about me to sacrifice the best years of her life in order to ensure that I had the opportunity and education to someday have an office like this. My mother did not do this for me. Yes, she did. She changed your diapers. She loved you. She cared for you. She... I don't have to listen to this. No, you don't. But you should, because she's your mother. The only one you'll ever have. Mrs. Galloway, exactly how many people are you providing shelter for? I have six friends staying in my seven-bedroom house. And are you aware that the covenants in your neighborhood clearly state that the homes will be used for residential use only? I'm not running a business. Well, are you aware that nonprofit organizations are considered a business, whether they make money or not? I'm aware that I'm not breaking the law and I'm not harming anybody. Are there any other legal activities going on at your residence? Not that I'm aware of. Do you know a Chuck Devine? No, I don't. You sure? Mm -hmm. He lives in your house. Actually, he's right here in this courtroom. You know, harboring fugitives is a felony, Mrs. Galloway. Bailiff, would you please escort Mr. Devine from the courtroom? She don't know anything about it. Order in the court. Max. Now, isn't it just a little strange that you had no idea that Mr. Devine was wanted for robbery? B and E, failure to appear, larceny, hardly a model citizen. Mrs. Galloway, are you all right? Ruth. Mrs. Galloway, are you all right? Ruthie, something's wrong with Ruth. 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 Unfortunately, the cancer is back. It's metastasized in her bones liver, lungs, and is causing an inoperable neural carcinoma right here. English, please. It's spread too far. What about chemo? It's too late. What do you mean, too late? There has to be something. We don't care how much it costs. We can debulk the brain tumor. That could give her some relief. How long? A month, maybe two. You should try to get her things in order. Quite a scare. The judge postponed the case for a week. After that, I don't know what. What's happening with Max? He stole a frozen turkey 10 years ago and then skipped his hearing. I'll have him out on bail by the end of the day. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what does the doctor say? We can take you home tomorrow. Oh, I, I like that. No, go ahead. Get what you needed. How long? A month, maybe two. Funny thing is, I've never seen her so alive, so happy. You gave her that. So can you. You were right. She gave up her whole life just to raise me, and I didn't think it was enough. I had to make her feel guilty for not doing more, for not having a career. used to plant a rose bush 
every year for our anniversary. Could you plant one on April 27th for me? Oh. We can plan it together. Oh. I need you to promise me that you'll finish what I started here. They deserve better. I promise, Mom. Oh, that's my girl. Yes. Cheryl, I want you to download all the Beverly Hills real estate covenants and regulations from 1950 until the present. I want these divided up and picked apart. We've got less than two days. I need everybody to sign it. Mine's a little scribbly. That's okay, so is mine. How's it going? Not good. Preston's gonna bring up a 93 legal precedent back in the covenants today. Great. So he's feeling pretty confident right now. Oh, yeah. You see that? He had a great offense. <laughs> We'll see what happens next week. Well, looks like you should have taken my offer. What? And miss seeing the look on your face when you lose? It's over, Gina. Yes, it is. Take a look. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, the deed to your mother's property, so? Look at the names. If I file that deed, then the house will be owned in part by each of those individuals, rendering your lawsuit void. Now, you'll also see that I've enclosed a settlement offer from Mr. Greenberg, under which I will not file that deed in lieu of him selling me one of his apartment buildings at market value. If everything works out, then the neighborhood will get back to normal. I'll expect to hear from you by noon. Otherwise, consider that deed recorded. Well, you love this, don't you? Hey, I'm just trying to do what's right for everyone. Smile. You won. Court's now in session. Hi. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> I finished your book. And you're a very talented writer. Oh, honey, don't ever give it up. Well, I've had great inspiration. Would, would you read a passage from the book? I'd love to hear it in your voice. We weren't homeless. We were houseless. For a house, no matter how large or small, is merely four walls and a roof. A home is the love that fills the space between those walls. 
a precious love that endures and grows. A love that's forgiving and unconditional. They could take our house, but they could never take our home because in our house, there was love. Please tell Robert I made the climb. Well, Mother, we're all together now. Just the way you wanted it. Dad, it's your turn to take care of her now, all right? I love you both very much. just to get everybody in the picture. Okay. Oh, wait, that's too much. I think you need to tilt it up a bit so you can get the sign. Okay, that's it. We're going to leave it right here. Is he always this impatient? He's not very good with the camera. What was that, honey? I said I love you. Okay, everyone, gather around. We're going to take a picture. Come on. Rose? Gina, can I count on your help at the legal clinic on Tuesday night? Actually, I have a date on Tuesday. What? what? You have a date? <laughs> yes. But I'll be there on Wednesday. No, oh, the legal clinic is only open one night a week. Not anymore. My firm has 80 lawyers, and they can all afford to do some charity work. Awesome. OK. Looks like we're about ready to go. So everyone, just move to the left a little. Here. Ah. Hurry. Mom would love this. Yes, she would. Oh, OK. Everybody say, our house. <laughs> 